What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. I'm pretty upset right now, guys. I mean, Jesus Christ. Uh, I stay up late. I try to get a video film for you guys, and then I plug it into the computer, and it's just not there. It's just gone, non-existent, pretty, pretty upsetting. But uh, I do have some figure news for you guys today instead of that video. But uh, I also lost like 150 to 200 pictures of MDT Live. So I'm going to have to refilm that. So that's just freaking beautiful. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into these figures. So the first news I have for you guys right here is this new flashback series featuring a Build-A-Figure Commissioner Shawn Michaels. We have Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Harley Race and Jake the Snake Roberts. We did see three of these four figures, I believe, a while back. I can't remember what con or whatever it was that we saw these at, but it was, uh, you know, we saw those three figures, the Stone Cold, the Harley Race, and the Jake the Snake. We did not get to see the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, but uh, I'll go ahead and show off those three figures that I was talking about. So here you see the Stone Cold figure. Again, I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but we did see these a while back. I can't remember, again, what con it was. But here we have the Stone Cold. Here we have the Jake the Snake Roberts. I really like the pants on this one. I think this one will be probably the best Jake the Snake Roberts. I don't know, though. The Hall of Fame was pretty fresh with the white tights on, but uh, this one is nice as well. And then, of course, you have Harley Race right here, which to me looks like John C. Riley, the actor that was in Step Brothers. I don't know. I think it's funny. Maybe you need to make a custom or something like that, but that is the first time in the line Harley Race. Next up, guys, we do have a new women's elite figure, Walgreens exclusive right here. We have Alexa Bliss with the Raw Women's Championship, so I guess we're going to continue the trend with these women's uh, Walgreens exclusive division, whatever you want to call it, exclusives to Walgreens here. Uh, you have this, uh, it's pretty much the same Elite that we got with Elite 53 with a different head. I think it's one of the basic uh, head scans thrown on there. I believe a lot of people have made this fix up before. Nothing too special. I mean, we've had this championship before. We've had multiple Alexa Blisses in the past, so I don't really see that much into it. I mean, it's kind of cool if you're a Collecting these mock, I'd like to see all four Walgreens exclusive women figures up next to each other. But um, yeah, nothing special about the Alexa, but here is some good stuff. A custom non-demon Finn Balor in the blue attire. I saw this posted. It says top picks has true effects on it. I don't know really the news on this, but they are action figures on Instagram posted this, so credit to them for this picture. And uh, I don't know if this is true. I don't know really what this is, guys, but apparently I think this is legitimate. We are going to be getting this blue attire from Elimination Chamber. You know, Finn Balor started rocking all the different colors. And uh, if this is true, guys, this is fantastic, so I won't have to make this custom. That's one less custom to make. But uh, you do see the interchangeable hands, which would go with San Diego Comic-Con and their announcement of all the different, you know, hands coming with every male figure after Elite 62. So this is big news, and uh, I hope this is absolutely true and I think this would be a great figure to have I would definitely pick it up again maybe I don't know what the true effects thing is I don't know if this is a new line but what's weird is that we didn't even see this at comic-con so I don't know if this is legitimate or not again I think it is I mean this image looks pretty legitimate but I'm not sure he may have found it on the forums or what I, I don't know but uh hopefully it's true but, you know, we didn't see it at San Diego Comic-Con, so there's literally no way to know if it is true or not. But anyways, guys, if I find out any more news on that, I will definitely let you guys know. But that pretty much does it for the figure news today, guys. Again, I'm so freaking sorry that I lost all those pictures and I lost that video footage of that video. I don't know what I'm going to do. I literally uh, grinded on the pick fed for you guys and then I lost the footage. So hopefully, maybe... Uh, either I can restore the footage somehow, some way. It's literally gone. I don't know how to get it. But uh, if I can get it, then I will definitely do my best and uh, continue to grind. And if not, I guess I have to freaking redo it. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.